going on everybody? Sammy here and I have got another statue review and it is the Thanos on Throne, the regular edition. Uh, let me tell you a story. I was a bit late to the Thanos party. I didn't order this guy until back in December, like early December. And obviously since I ordered it a bit later, my order didn't get processed as early as a lot of the other people. And so, say like early January, mid-January, all of these pictures of Thanos started coming in, man, on the forums and groups and pages and everything. And I really thought that seeing all those pictures and videos would kind of ruin my own experience when I got them. I couldn't have been more wrong, man. This guy's a monster. I mean, I just, I, you know, I have to keep, I just keep staring at this thing and seeing new details, seeing new stuff that I didn't even re rec you know, realize earlier. Um, I realize there's like, you know, a ton of other, probably a lot more professional reviews on this guy out there, but I just wanted to give my two cents, you know, I'm gonna, I'll try and keep this short because I could go on and on about the details on this guy, but um, he's massive, you know, he's not that tall, but like, what, 21 inches tall? And, um, you know, he's, he's one of the shorter statues I own, but, I mean, um, clearly what he lacks in height, he makes up for, and just how absolutely, he's like, what, isn't this like 18 or something inches wide, and then he's deep, too. I mean, the the footprint of this statue is huge. I, I didn't even know where I was going to put him, man. I got him, and I had a general idea, but, um... Luckily, I have a spot for him. He's going on top of, he's going on top of like a drawer shelf. Um, there's enough room where I can display him like diagonally like this, and his uh, throne doesn't hit the wall. I have a comic snake. I got the Infinity Gauntlet and the Rebirth of Thanos, and then I'm looking at getting like a print or something. I've never even bought an art print before, but this guy deserves one. I might get like a, the variant print or something, display it behind him. Um. Yeah, that's my setup that I'm planning on doing for him. About the statue itself, um, I want to say the throne is on, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people will agree with that. I'm pretty sure the throne is better than Thanos himself. And I want to, I think that's kind of what Sideshow wanted to do as well, because, you know, with these throne statues, Thanos, Magneto, Doom, all that, the real eye catcher is the throne, man. I mean... This right here, him crushing that skull, that's probably one of my favorite parts of this statue. Just the, it's like, it's as if like they just took a picture right when he crushed it and the stones or like the, the skull is dismantling. And that, that was amazing. The back of the throne here as well. You know, a lot, a lot of people aren't even going to be displaying like, I know the ideal display is having like on a turntable in an open area so you can move them around, but Let's face it, not everyone has that kind of space, and a lot of people are probably just gonna shove them in a shelf, which, that's, you know, that's fine. I mean, nothing against that. I, I would have done that if I didn't have room. But if a lot of people are doing that, no one's gonna see the back of this, and I'm besides I knew that. There was no way they didn't know that. Yet they still put all that detail. I mean, that skull on the back, the spine. I'm blown away. I really and blown away. Like I said, I thought all these pictures and videos was going to ruin my own experience. I couldn't have possibly been more wrong. Oh, let's turn that gauntlet on, the light, because as I'm sure you know, it does light up. There you go. I like the light up feature. Um, it's simple and it's easily accessible. That's what usually turns me off from so many light up features. The fact that like you have to disassemble this and enter some code in here and on I mean this is simple you take you just saw what I did take off the gauntlet push a button put it back on he's lit up there we go um what else let's talk about QC issues because a lot of people were uh complaining about issues with theirs and I mean mine isn't without its flaws I'm not going to sit here until you have a perfect statue I mean mine mine does have a couple of issues but is it enough to send it back or send a portion of it back. I'm debating that, but I really don't know. First and foremost, the main issue I have, which you probably can't see it here, but I'll show it in a close-up, is this foot right here is not sitting perfectly flush to the base. It's 
sticking off, like, you really, I mean, looking at it now, you can't notice it unless I'm looking under it, but it is there. And I mean, for a statue like this, I, I mean, I, I don't want to say I was expecting perfection because no statue is perfect, but, you know, I was expecting a bit more attention to detail. Um, other, and the foot isn't even that bad. I saw other people who had the same problem, but their foot sticks up even more. So I don't even want to risk a replacement body being worse than what I already have. So I honestly think I'm just going to keep uh, this body. What else? I mean, there's, you know, the, your couple of stray, like, paint rubs or paint chips here and there, which I just need to get some gold touch-up paint. I could just touch it up myself, really, with some gold paint. You know, there's parts here where the paint scuffed off parts. It's, yeah, it's, like, sucks, but is it really that big a deal? I don't think so. Um, what I am going to need, though, is a new head because you can't see it here. I'll try and show you in close-ups, but... On the chin, there are some paint chips, and you know, I've never like done my own paint work on statues before, and this head isn't like just one shade of purple. It's clearly like a more complicated texture, and I don't wanna risk touching it up myself. I mean, the gold I'm fine with, because the gold is more or less, you know, one shade, so I'm pretty sure I can do that myself, but I don't, <laughs> I don't wanna mess up the head. Uh, let's talk about the head, actually. Let's talk about you know, exclusive versus regular for this guy. You know, people were so quick to throw around before he came out, like when there was just pictures and stuff, people were so quick to throw out, oh, exclusive or fail, you know, if you don't get the exclusive, um, why are you getting the statue? And I think, I think that's laughable. I mean, if you can look me in the eye and tell me that a smiling face is what makes this statue, if you can really tell me that without that smiling face, none of this looks good, I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the exclusive head I would have preferred. I even bought, I actually bought the exclusive head off of somebody, um, just the head. But I really, really like it. I mean, I love that head, man. And there's custom heads being made with like light up grinning eyes, light up eyes, grinning teeth. So the only reason to even pay all that extra money for the exclusive is just to say, oh, I have number XXX out of 750. And that's, that's it, because there are a lot of regulars. There are 3,500, and that's, um, that's pretty high. But, you know, addition size was ne is never really that huge of a problem for me. Um, you know, when I buy, I know people who base their entire their statue purchases solely off addition size, and that is that's sad. I mean, if there were 3,500 or 35,000 of these, I don't care. I'm buying one. It looks amazing. You know, they just announced the edition size for the new uh, Wolverine premium format, and the exclusive is 2,500. Is that high? Yes. Did that stop me from buying it? No. I like the statue. And, you know, I, under I get the appeal of a low edition size. Believe me, I do. I mean, I'd rather a lower edition size than a higher one. You know, it's more collectability, it's more exclu exclusivity, um, the QC will probably be better, but do I let edition size make or break my purchase decision? Hell no, I mean, it's just, I mean, I'll, I'll never understand why, um, why some people do that. I went off on a tangent there. Um, back to the, can, is there anything I can say about the statue that hasn't already been said? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't want to just ramble on about stuff you probably have already seen or heard about. Um, I could probably do some close-ups. I could say you do close-ups all day. So I think what I'll do is just show you, I'll show you the foot problem that I had, and I'll just show you some of my favorite parts of the statue itself. Um, any closing statements? No, not really. If you didn't get the exclusive, get the regular, man. Get the regular and just pick up a head down the road. I, I don't know what else to tell you. Don't worry about 3,500. This isn't EX or fail, man. Seriously. All right, let's get some close-ups done. All righty. 
damn it, again, my last video I didn't have these windows down and I forgot to do it this time. Whatever. Uh, these skulls here, I really, really liked. They're coming off like cheap looking on the camera, but believe me, they're not. This one, and like I said, my favorite part of the statue, probably of the entire statue is this. I mean, the whole, it caught my eye in the pictures. I knew I was gonna like it in person, but this is just so well done, man. It's beautiful. Here's the foot on mine. You see, it's just it's sticking up like a tiny bit. Yeah, it's a bit distracting, but I'm not letting it take away from the uh, statue itself. You know, I was t telling you I had a couple of like little stray paint chips. You know, there's one there. What else? There were some on the back too. You see over there in the little, in his groove. Yeah, there's a few back here. And it's just, you know, it's just one shade of gold. I can touch it up myself. It's not that big a deal. Would I have liked it to be perfect? Of course, but is any statue perfect? No. I mean, that head, man, like, you can't tell me that this head looks bad. You can't tell me that this statue only looks good if you have that smiling head. It's just, I, I don't, I don't understand it. The only way, the only way this is an exclusive or fail is if you're planning on um selling this guy down the road. Because the regular is not going to be an easy sell. I mean, it's, you'll be tough to move the regular. But thankfully, I don't ever plan on selling this guy. I will never sell him unless I'm in a <laughs> huge financial crisis. Um, this, like, whatever it's supposed to be called, his underwear and his little, like, shoulder pad... It does feel like PVC, and it does feel a little cheap, I will admit. But I'm kind of glad they did it like that because it does have a little bit of give to it. You know, I'm not going to sit here and bend it for you. But, like, if this was a solid polystone, this would chip easily. This would chip easily. The rest is all solid polystone. And the statue is hollow, too, which a lot of people were pissed about. But, I mean, even hollow. This guy's, like, 40 pounds. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine how much this would weigh if the entire thing was solid? Anyway, I should have shut those uh, curtains again this time, but you get the idea. I mean, I, I could do close-ups all day, but I don't want to let this keep going on and on. There's that skull. So I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching, as usual, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe. Uh, get the regular. Don't worry about the exclusive. Believe me. All right, you have a good one, guys.